short and sweet. That's what this video is going to be, folks. I hardly ever do specific episodes uh, for a specific product that I wasn't planning on doing. Uh, something that is specific to the vehicle that is not necessarily photography. So yeah, this is going to be a little different, but I have actually received some unexpected questions and a lot of attention to the window covers inside Bruce. This was literally something I just changed and I wanted to do this um, because, well, some people requested it. I have a lot of service and hopefully within an hour of me recording this, you'll be watching this video and hopefully liking and subscribing. Gonna shoot to keep this under 10 minutes, folks. As you can see, I live in a TRD off-road 4Runner. This is a 2018. Uh, this is a full-time living space for me with my beautiful little dog, Leia. What you doing, baby? No, no, go this way. Go this way. There you go. Good girl, good girl. <sighs> yeah, so in any kind of uh, nomad lifestyle, you need privacy. And in the winter months, like we are now here, currently in Arizona, uh, this is Arizona in December, you need a little bit of insulation for your windows. Now, when I first started, I hastily made these, as many people do, out of Reflectix. If you're not familiar with Reflectix, it's just a type of insulation. Essentially, it's bubble wrap coated on either side with what essentially aluminum foil. Very durable, very flimsy, and it gives you a little bit of insulation plus some privacy. Most people black out one side like I've done here. These are the very first ones. I made these just before I hit the road. I covered it in black duct tape, left the other side reflective. When it's cold, black out, absorbs the heat. Summer, shiny side out, reflects the heat. Black side gives you a little bit more privacy. Now these I actually made on the road. To begin with, I only had the rear windows covered, so I made the side windows here. Same material, Reflectix. The only difference is, and I highly recommend this, by the way, if you make your own, I've coated the black side with black Plasti Dip. It's essentially a spray rubber used in the automotive industry, mostly. Um, what it does, it stays flexible. Of course, blacks out, gives you all that, but it doesn't peel. At least it hadn't peeled in the nearly two months I've been using them. However, when you make your own, you have to be very meticulous about the fitment. And uh, usually, especially in my case, they never fit just right. That's where this next little thing comes in. Now, I'm extremely cheap. I'm gonna tell you folks before I start talking about this, these are 100% worth the price. If you're considering them, get them. These are WeatherTechs. You know, the floor mat people, they're custom cut, laser cut, beautiful window covers same concept black side shiny side whereas these i don't think that they are the bubble wrap material these feel very much like some type of closed cell foam sandwiched in between here and this stuff is not metal as far as i can see it's some type of vinyl i think but very durable has these little Kodura type vinyl edges, pull tabs, same thing. You put the shiny side out, dark side out, whichever way you want to go. But here's the kicker. Try to do this one handed. Window still got some condensation on it. We'll talk about that in just a second. Yeah, that is in. Uh, yeah, that simple. I'm telling you, it's worth the price just for that. 10 times easier if I had two hands. Now, one of the big things folks were asking about was to compare these to how Reflectix actually felt and looked. And we're gonna do that right now. This is, of course, Reflectix. It just has that Reflectix sound and feel. It's very flimsy, which is a good and bad thing. Like I said, it's very durable regardless. Yeah, but like I said, think bubble wrap coated in foil. This is the WeatherTech custom made. And you can just see one thing, it's not nearly it's not nearly as noisy. And of course it's impossible to really, really tell that. But they're a lot thicker. They're of course a lot more rigid. They still roll up. Uh, the big one up front, 
that goes in the windshield. Uh, essentially all of them go inside of that. It rolls up and that has a Velcro band that secures them. You can get a bag from WeatherTech. They charge like $15 though, so I didn't get it. And if you don't go with the Plasti Dip wrap, you can get a little more rigidity if you cover these with tape, if you cover them with fabric, I know a lot of folks that cover them with dark fabric, um, even leopard prints, a lot of stuff, but you can uh, go a couple of routes with your Reflectix, but the key is the fitment. And uh, let's talk about that real fast with the WeatherTechs. I've used these, I said I ordered these from the road in Las Crucius um, three or four days ago now, and I've used them. They fit perfectly, more or less. I have noticed the, and when I say more or less, um, a 4Runner has eight windows, folks, and essentially only one of these has a little bit of a fitment issue, and it may be my fault. And it's this one back here, the driver rear. Uh, you can see it doesn't fit, or it kind of bows out just a little bit there. Keep in mind, I've had this entire side panel off Bruce. This is the one I took the lower paneling off. So all that's gone. I wouldn't put it past me to have augmented the shape of this just enough to where that doesn't fit just perfect. So it's that, but that's really no big deal. At least compared to what I was working with. Now up here, you can see There's a tiny, 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 tiny gap right here. It looks much more pronounced from the inside, more so than it is. You have to keep in mind on the outside, you have that little black covering. So it's very, it's very, very small. I run fairy lights, one string around here. So it's kind of dim in here anyway. It's virtually impossible to see anything from the outside with just those lights on, unless you are really, really looking. So honestly, it doesn't bother me. I may end up putting a tiny piece of gaffer's tape or something there on the corner of the windows just to um, seal that off completely. I don't know, like I said, it hadn't bothered me so far. Something to keep in mind, uh, especially if you're ordering these for your 4Runner, is that some models, you probably know this, the rear view mirror has a sensor box and some of them do not. Uh, this one does not, so I ordered that option, of course. The windshield cover, I may or may not keep using this because I have just a regular reflector, Star Wars reflector that I really like. And honestly, that's a little bit easier to put in than this, just because this one is not an accordion type. Um, it's just completely flat. And if you have stuff in here, kind of like I do, it gets a little cumbersome. I really don't know. But uh, yeah, anyway, if you have the box, or the one that is made for the box, but keep in mind, regardless of what you get, you're going to have this gap up here. And that is the main point where you can really see into the vehicle, especially if you have some bright lights going inside of there. You can actually kind of see all the way through the back of the vehicle right now. Now, keep in mind the Forerunners have that uh, little spackling, the uh, kind of a tint right there behind the rear view mirror. So it's really covered quite a bit, but you can still see in there, or at least that's the major point of vision inside the vehicle when you're running these weather techs. Sweet girl. Come around this way again, come on. The only other thing to talk about is the R value of these, and I don't know it. Uh, not the specific true R value, but I have kept track of the temperature the first night I stayed in these, it got down to, I think, 41 degrees here in Superior, Arizona. The ambient temperature was, I think, 58 to about 59 degrees. This is in Fahrenheit, of course, inside the vehicle. So you're looking at almost a 20 degree temperature difference with these weather techs in with the black side out. I was actually planning on guys to do one night with the weather techs, one night with my old Reflectix covers. Didn't do that. After I put these in, I got so lazy that I'm like, no, I don't want to put those other ones back in and deal with all that. However, if you will take my word for it, <clears throat> I do remember when I first got on the road, some really cold temperatures. And I was just for my own curiosity, keeping track of the ambient temperature inside the Forerunner or in the baby. What have you done? What's happened? We gotta stay away from this bush. 
Nickel every time I've said that. There you go. All right, folks, we're getting to the end. We're getting to the end. Yeah, so I kept track of the ambient temperature inside the vehicle and the outside temperature, and we were always hovering about 10 degrees higher inside the vehicle than outside. So I would say it's a safe bet to consider these weather techs about double the insulative properties as this regular Reflectix that I was using. Completely unscientific, just what I observed. Now, of course, the vehicle is about three quarters insulated from about the back of the front seats to the rear hatch here. I have carpet padding underneath that. I have some sound deadening slash insulation material all up underneath. So I know that plays a lot into the temperature change, but since the window covers were the only thing I changed since I was noticing that 10 degrees difference and it went to 20, I think that's probably it. Now the price, like I said, these are not cheap. All in shipped, I paid like $196 or something for these. Amazon has them. They are not prime. The reason I didn't get them from Amazon is that they weren't gonna come in in time while I was staying in Las Cruces. So I ordered them from a place I think called Car ID. Never heard of them, I was kind of afraid. Uh, excellent, they shipped out. I ordered them late, I think late Sunday evening and I got them Tuesday, uh, Wednesday morning. You can find them slightly cheaper other places, but I had to get them. Uh, I had to have them, you know, at the time. And uh, I think the cheapest I'd saw them were $169 directly from WeatherTech. But yeah, uh, I went that route. You can choose something else. I'm going to point you towards another video. Actually, the one I watched to uh, decide to get these weather techs. I think Sarasota Tim uh, is his name on YouTube. He did an excellent breakdown of these. Uh, you'll get a lot of information there too. But if you want, in my opinion, 10 times worth it, these weather tech window covers for the forerunners, of course, that could change. I don't see it changing, honestly, but if something catastrophic happens to them, if I notice some horrible defect, I'll at least put that down in the comments and pin it for you so you'll know. Well, folks, I hope you got something out of this. I hope it is what you wanted, and I hope it does make your decision on getting something like this just a little bit easier. So until next time, still can't end these videos.